Hi, welcome to This Is My Architecture. My name is Diego from AWS. I'm here with Marco from Condenast. Hi, Marco. Tell us about uh, Condenast. Hi, Diego. Condenast is uh, the media company behind uh, some of the most important uh, magazines in the world, like uh, Vogue, GQ, Monetary Fair, and Wired. I see that here you, uh, you have this infrastructure called Genius, this solution. Can you tell us about what uh, it does? Uh, uh, Genius, uh, uh, it's the brain behind uh, our uh, websites, mm -hmm. especially Vanity Fair. And uh, on the business perspe perspective, we, we have uh, uh, an issue that we need to increase our user experience and give to the final user uh, special uh, content and uh, recommending for their behaviors. So, uh, so this is like a, a, a recommendation engine, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, let me explain uh, how it works. Um, it works uh, mm, starting from the laptop or the smartphone for the final users. We grab some information and ask a, a cognito identity that uh, uh, give us uh, the information that uh, is related to the, uh, to the users. So uh, when a user makes a navigation to our uh, website, we start to uh, grab, uh, and, uh, uh, grab all the, the click streams of the users uh, on the URL that the user is uh, going to uh, navigate and put that to uh, Kinesis. With the help uh, of uh, Kinesis Stream, we grab uh, this information like uh, uh, which topic, which authors, uh, and uh, which type of content the users uh, it, uh, it is, it is going, it's going to navigate. So you're using Cognito Identity to track uh, the customer behavior, right? Yeah, yeah. And exactly. you send it to Kinesis? Yeah. Uh, Kinesis, uh, typically use uh, three, three component. components. One is uh, the Kinesis stream uh, that uh, uh, grab this information from uh, the, the client. The other one is the Kinesis analytics. Uh, we use, we use uh, uh, Kinesis analytics to make uh, the first uh, uh, queries on the data. We need uh, fresh information and the last hour of the data and the navigation click uh, uh, of the users. And then uh, Kinesis connect data and write data to S3 with the uh, uh, Kinesis file hose uh, and we store this ins information on, uh, on the bucket. Uh, I see that here you draw quick site. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us what you're using for? Yeah, this is uh, specific uh, to the marketing because uh, all of the information uh, uh, grabbed the um, during the navigation are uh, uh, then uh, uh, put it back to the marketing uh, because they need to see how uh, the um, website uh, is performing, uh, what the users uh, are uh, uh, navigating the in, uh, in the websites, and which are the main topic that uh, the newsroom is going to uh, write and uh, uh, tell to the final, final users. So, so QuickSight uh, help us to make some, uh, some graphics uh, for uh, some uh, marketing uh, expectation on that. Switch it back to S3. S3 uh, has all uh, the information uh, from uh, Kinesis and uh, put this information on, on, uh, on MXNet because we need to uh, recommend uh, URL, new, uh, new articles to the final user with the recommendation engine and we use MXNet to, to do that. Why do you choose MXNet? Uh Yes, a mixed net because uh, it is an open source uh, project uh, mm -hmm. and that it's really uh, simple uh, to uh, use the, the S2 provided by WS uh, with the machine learning AMIs. Another important uh, uh, components that the MixNet uh, is going to use in uh, Genius it's uh, all related to uh, the images of Condenast because we store all of the images on an S3 bucket uh, where we use uh, our DAM. Uh, every time uh, a new image uh, comes to S3, a Lambda function is triggered and uh, uh, put this information, this image, to the recognition engine. This is, uh, this is really important because we need to tag uh, all of our images on S3 and uh, to understand if uh, there are some object or the uh, uh, most important part uh, if there is some celebrities because uh, the images of Condé Nast are more related to celeb. Recognition uh, gives us this information about object and celeb and we store uh, this information on an RDS. Uh, so uh, MXNet uh, use this information from uh, the RDS uh, on top of the, on, uh, of the information stored on S3 because uh, we you need to uh, put that back this data to the final users uh, through Elasticsearch 
uh, Lambda and the API Gateway because uh, on the client uh, side uh, you have your recommended uh, uh, recommend articles or news for, uh, for your behavior. How long did it take uh, uh, to create this genius solution on AWS? Yeah, more or less two months. Wow. So thank you, Marco, for joining. This is my architecture. Uh, and thanks, everybody, for watching This is My Architecture.